Well, as like you said, if here you we go. Parents that get into the. Let's take a look at this one here. Get into the admittance part of it instead. Of, Look at this, 5 days Hoover Crip just started a war. Right. Just started a war. Just started a war. Rolling 60s We got rolling 60s. We got 40s. VSP. That's a pyro. I thought Menlo was 6'5". Well, Menlo, you know, it's all through Menlo Street. No, no, no. We, they're, they're doing something Menlo's, else you know, right They're now. the ones who got into it with yeah, Raymond's. Biggest day, sex jerks. Sex jerks, right. Back up for all the 60s. Jerk Street, back. Well, they ain't crossed them all out. I'm trying to figure out who's the one. Lokes are crossing all of them out. Well, well the, Marvin Gangsters. You see, the RIC did the green when uh, Five Deuce Hoover Crips wrote Just Started a War. Six, they're the 60s they're crossed the it out. Group. You know what's so bad? These guys, different factions over here. We have the... Uh, of gangster crips who are rivals with the rolling 60s. We have gangs from way over from uh, MGCs or Marvin, Marvin gangsters, gangster crips. Marvin right? gangster crips, and that's almost a West Side, West LA yeah. area. Yeah. That's a, yeah. In fact, I remember when when I was working Wilshire this, Division. Yeah, they, that's all you had. You had Marvins, you had Playboys, you had you know, but you don't see that too much of that over here. But they crossed out a whole roll call over there. Uh, 30s, 60s, 40s, and then they knocked the O's out down there. Right, all together. What's very interesting here is this West Side Five Deuce Hoover Crips just started their war, and uh, they well, started. You know what? They started knocking off those 40s. That Five Deuce is written in that same black as was knocked out down there on those 30s, 60s, 40s. But right. you, so they knocked that out, and they just started a war, and somebody just knocked them off. All right, but you see what happened? The Rolling 60s came back over with the green paint, crossed out the Five Deuce Hoover Crips. Who had crossed out the rolling 40s, which are the 60s allies. And then the Marvins you know, came behind them and crossed out the Hoovers. Then the Lokes came behind them and crossed them out. Mm -hmm. But what's more interesting is that you see on the wall here, there's very few or no blood graffiti on this wall. No. You see all Crip games. All Crip games. And games. people got to understand that Crips will fight each other because of the fact that that's just the way it is. It's polarized that way. But see, that's why we, that's where we lose the understanding. Everyone knows that Crips hate Bloods, but they can't figure why Crips don't fight, fight why Crips fight Crips and Bloods don't fight Bloods. They don't even know that. They don't even know why they uh, fight each other. No. If you ask them, they say, you'll, you'll ask the, uh, the, the average Crip when you bring him into the station, why is it you hate another rival Crip gang member? And he'll tell you something like, because he's because he's a punk. And, well, well why? Give me a, is, did, do you know something specific about them? Did they do something to you? Did they hurt your family? No, they all just They're punked. just from that set. They're just from that set. I'm That's, from this set, I'm, I'm from, from this set. I have no, you know, there's no concrete reason why. And basically, like I said, they won't tell you that they're gang members until you mention to them a rival set. Mm. But I'd like to see uh, more of a corporation. I mean, leaving this on the wall doesn't do it. The other thing as far as helping us out. If the business who owns the wall would take the time out. Well, you know what? Yes. That, that goes back. They would either need to care less. Well, this like is it. probably the same person that's going to sell these rubber hands so they can show their sets. Well, they're they going to shut shit, uh, sell those bandanas so they can show their sets. They're going to still show, uh, sell those hats, the whole thing. Here's, there's, the other, here's the other aspect. And we're, business owners are afraid. They're well, afraid that if they come out here and they're seen painting this stuff over, that there's going to be some type of retaliation. That's the that's your element could be a, more people in the community than there is of the gang members. There were For 10 years, thing going on now. It was no different. I mean, fear, you got 10 years of fear, but now it's, it's so deep that they can't get themselves out of it. What the community has to realize is that these, these gangs operate out here. And that the fact that they're able to come over here and write on a wall their own private shooting gallery, and that nobody's really standing up and taking a, a real voice about it. What they ought to do is once they get the gangs in custody. Go down a little further. Like I said before, if we could, if we get these guys in custody. The gangs that put the graffiti on the wall have them take their gang graffiti off the wall, mm -hmm. and it'll be demeaning to the gang. But are they going to jump on each other for taking the graffiti off? Are you sure that I said you're not setting them up for drive? Uh, well, I mean, if they have the courage to put it on the wall, they should be man enough to take it off. No, I mean, I, it's I, responsibility also. I, mean, I, I believe that it's their responsibility also, but I think first, the, the first order is to get the community involved in taking it off the wall. If you get the community involved in taking it off the wall, eventually they'll get tired. What do I, so what do, I do here? They also follow that help it up, because it doesn't do any good to have it off the wall in, on a school campus if you can't take it off the uh, surrounding community.
There's a rest in peace over there. Big graffiti on the uh, right. Big dog. Big time hustlers. Yeah, who is Mr. Epot, man? Is that Edwin? You know, this is not a real good place to stop because this is where they had the, the big uh, shootout right. over here with the deputy. The Walker family. That's, rest in peace. That's, yeah, Epot. I wonder this if is, that is the... Uh, I think that is. This yeah. Is, this is not the best place to be. 